this because I have been extremely sick lately. I don't know what I called, but it was just really bad. I've been sick for almost a week now, and this is really the first day that I feel somewhat better. I'm not 100%, but I feel okay enough to come down here and record, so that's a good thing. This is the third take on this video, and I had hoped to be able to get through this without having to take a cough drop, but I've had to stop now a couple of times because I keep coughing, so I am going to um, have a cough drop, and I hope that does not bother you all. Um, I know a lot of people like the different sounds if you have candy in your mouth or gum when you are whispering, so maybe some of you will like this. I really, I cannot stand cough drops. I don't like the way that they taste, but they get the job done, so I guess that's what matters. Um, I have not felt like doing much of anything lately. And for the last week or so, I've basically just been laying around the house, which is extremely unlike me. Um, I'm just, I don't really just lay around and do nothing. But I have just been, it's just been terrible. It really has. Um, I probably should have gone to the doctor at some point last week. But I just like torturing myself. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I honestly, I really do not like doctors at all. Well, I take that back. I like doctors. I just do not like going to the doctor. But I'm hoping that the worst is over with. It's just been kind of crazy. Um, anyway, like I said, I am starting to feel better and hopefully by the end of this week I will be 100%. I am going to try my best to catch up on emails and Facebook messages this week. I've kind of been going through them here and there as I felt like it, but I've really fallen behind these last couple of days. So, I'm hoping to get all caught up on those. I just, I feel so behind on everything because, like I said, I just have not done much. And now I feel like everything is just kind of piled up. I'm one of uh, these people who rarely get sick. But when I do, I tend to get very, very sick. It's never... It's never just a little cold or even a 24-hour bug for me. I'm usually out for a good week when I get sick. Um, I've had a lot of people just in the last two or three weeks not really complain but kind of give me feedback. <coughs> excuse me, and tell me that my mic sounds, the volume is really low for some reason on their end. I'm not sure what's causing that. Um, when I'm editing and everything, and even recording, I have the volume all the way up on my end. And once I upload the video to YouTube, I usually have volume at about 50% with my headphones, and I've been able to hear everything fine on my end at 50%, so I'm not really sure what the issue is with the volume. Um, I even amplify the volume when I am editing, so that brings it up a notch. So unfortunately, on my end, there's not anything else that I can do to increase the volume. I wish that um, I had an easy answer or an easy fix for it, but I don't, I don't know what more I can do from my end.
and it seems to be that they're really, there's been probably, I don't know, four or five people just in the last few weeks, and it's the same people that have been uh, telling me that the volume has been an issue, um, so I don't know if it's a problem on their end or mine, but I, I don't, I just really don't know if, if you all are having a hard time hearing these videos, then I do apologize to my knowledge. Nothing has changed as far as my settings go, so I don't know why it would be coming across lower than what it was before. Uh, moving on, Chris and I, we went to Cherokee, North Carolina a couple of weeks ago, and we had so much fun. I know I've said this before, but I really do feel like it's kind of our home away from home. We've just been there so many times, and as soon as we get there, it's just that familiar feeling, and I just, I get all happy inside. <laughs> uh, everyone there is always so incredibly nice, and the drive is so pretty. It doesn't matter what time of year we're going, the drive is just absolutely beautiful. We usually leave, um, around 10 o'clock in the morning and typically we stop and get lunch and then we drive on and spend several hours in Cherokee before coming back home and then usually um, throughout the year we we typically get a few free nights stay at the hotel and casino there and that's usually in April or May and when we do we always take advantage of those and I'm hopeful that we will get some this year. Um, unless we have a free room or something, we usually just end up driving back home because it's really not, it's not too far. And, um, I don't know, I don't really see the point in paying like $100 for a room when it's only like a three hour ride back home. I'd rather just make the drive and get to sleep in my own bed unless it's a free, you know, like a free stay or something. I know uh, we're going to go back next month and hopefully again in either March or April. Ideally, I would like to go once a month, but I'm pretty sure that we would be broke if we did that. We typically lose on average of about $100 every time we go to the casino there, and I don't think we've actually ever brought back more money than we've taken, but that's okay. Um, we just go to have fun, and we never go with the mindset that we're actually going to win anything. I think that's the best way to go about it, because that way you're not too terribly disappointed if you don't win. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I'm wearing this extremely comfortable sweater. Oh, it is, it's just so, like, cozy and warm. My parents got it for me. Um, I think it was for Christmas. It might have been my birthday. It's kind of all running together now. No, it was for Christmas, and I've worn it twice already, and I just love it. I thought it, um, it would be just the perfect thing to wear for today since it's so chilly outside, and I've just got like a little, a tank top on under it, and it's just perfect. I cannot believe this month is already more than halfway over. I just feel I feel like spring is going to be here before we know it, and then summer. We bought uh, Lexi this little, it's like a little pool, but it kind of has like a waterfall that goes with it a couple of months ago. It was on clearance because they were getting rid of all of their summer items, and it was so cheap. I think it was less than $10, so I thought we'd get it and hold on to it until the summer. And I cannot wait to show it to her. 
I wanted to get her a slip and slide this summer, but I think she's still just a little too young for that. I really wanted to get it though, but really I would probably get more use out of it than she would. So maybe next year we will be able to get her one of those. Okay, I am probably going to have to end this video here in about a minute. Uh, for some reason my battery light is flashing. I have no idea why. That kind of stinks because I wanted to make this at least like 15 minutes long. Just a few whispered rambles that I've done have been so incredibly short. But anyway, really quick before I go, I've mentioned a few times in these videos that I never really feel like I have anything exciting or I guess anything of importance to talk about. And a few people have asked me to talk about my childhood and growing up in my family, uh, just things like that, and kind of share stories with you all. And I put together a scrapbook type of thing my senior year of high school, and I think what I'm going to do is to start sharing bits and pieces of that book with you all. I think it will be a fun way to talk about make sense. I think it will be fun to talk about and it will also be kind of a cool way uh, for you all just to learn a little bit about me. And I'm going to apologize for the plane that is flying overhead. I'm probably not going to edit that out so hopefully it won't be too loud or too distracting. But anyway, um, if you all have any questions for Feel free to leave them in the comments below this video, or really any video, and I will answer them in a future video. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it, and I'm afraid if I do not end this video here that my camera is just going to shut off in the middle of recording this. Um, I need to figure out what's going on with the battery because it was fine when I started recording and I know it was fully charged so I'm not quite sure what's going on but I'll figure it out anyway I hope that you all 